Hey Libra, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So tonight, today, whenever you get to this video, uh, we're going to do a general read for the sign of Libra. Bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, therefore the timing may be a bit fluid. Um, also, when I speak of male or female, I am talking about energy signatures. I am not referring to genitalia because spirit also does not have a gender. This is a general read, which means that not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Check your other placements if the story does not resonate. If it does resonate, check your other placements. Um, and also be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, I think that is it for the housekeeping. Holy Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for the astrological sign of Libra for December 2020? Libra, December 2020. Libra, December 2020. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, I thank you. Okay. Let's see what we have here. All right. Okay. Oh. So, we have the Lovers, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card. Uh, we also have the King of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Oh boy. And then you've got the Three of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. My, 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 Libra. Look who's messed around and made a decision. Cheers. So, we have the Lover's card. Clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. And the Strength card. So what I'm getting out of this is that you are you know it's funny I know that well, I'm I'm also a Libra but I, there's you are looking at you're looking at your resources, right? And you're seeing what works, what doesn't. Uh, you're choosing to, you're, and you're choosing to approach this in a new way. However you did it previously um, is, did not jive with you at all. And so you are taking a fresh approach to theft how you view theft. Whether it's you stealing from yourself or others stealing from you, uh, you're choosing to take a hard look at where your losses are coming from, right? And then next up, we've got the King of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You know you know that in order for you to be able to build what you're wanting to build that you've got to you've got to there, there's, you got to walk away from something, right? With the Eight of Cups, that's the, even though you've put a lot into something, 
it's the removing it's it's the leaving it behind to go for the ten like the eight of cups is good but you really want the ten of cups right and so when i see the eight of cups it's like i gotta man i gotta go i gotta go even when like looking at the card itself right there's still that there's still that one cup and it's still it's it's full like hey man don't you wanna don't 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 you wanna sit right here and, and, and have one more drink? Nah, bro, right nah. Like let me look a little closer at this. There's work. It's 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 playing at work. Man, you are playing at work. Ain't that something? Hold on. Wait a minute. Got the traditional Eight of Cups in the artwork. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Hold on. Can you, can you, can you get that a little bit closer? There. See it? It's right there. There's your traditional Eight of Cups. Then we've got... Look, this, no, this way. Turn it that way. Okay. So we've got, mm, this kind of looks like me in my workplace. Like there's a Rubik's Cube. I mean, not drinking on the job, but you know what I mean. So we've got a Rubik's Cube. You've got post-it notes everywhere. There is, you've got a dual clock. Oh, there's something there. Time is of the essence I'm getting. And it's two of them because Libra. Tons of post-it notes. Yeah. And constant reminders. But there's there's this you've mastered this. There's a level of mastery here. Like whenever we get to an eight, there's like a repetition or like a comfort in something and um, a sense of um, not disease, but like a ants, antsy, antsiness, antsiness here. And like with the King of Swords, he's strictly the facts. And the fact is, you've come as far as you can at this level. And you know that you're capable of much more, which is why you're able to play at work. And so you're ready to make a change. Time to embrace the strange. One moment. good all right oh goodness okay no. i love you all but oh boy wait one more all right okay back to us so you know that you've to re recap you know that you've reached a level of mastery with what you're doing and now it's time to make a change time to embrace the strange right and the universe is like yes like yes yeah finally we can give you this long-term stability that you've been working for that has been eluding you for the last 10 years You've learned what you needed to learn. Let's celebrate that. And you're making the change. Yeah, let's let's hook it on up. Hook it up for the Libra. And you know what? Folks are going to be mad about it. Mad about it. Because you're taking a look at the work that you've done that hasn't yielded any efforts that you have seen, right? And this other seven here illuminates that. 
So let's see what else we've got here. Let's go ahead and clarify this first row of the lovers, the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card. Let's check that out, shall we? Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. Yeah. So, you have internalized for a while these things that have been happening like you you noticed that something is amiss but instead of flying off the handle and causing raising a ruckus you sat on it you went within and you looked at yourself and said hey what am I doing? How am I, how am I approaching this that is causing me to sustain so much imbalance that I know, I know I'm hurting. Let me, let me, let me look at the energies that I'm bringing in, that I'm attracting to that that allows people to think that it's okay to just come and take from me and, and and be cool with it be cool with it because now that i'm looking at it like i used to have a lot to give and be like eh, well you know they need it more than i did i'm just gonna chill i know that you know the universe is fair and just and you know maybe it's just me maybe it's not just you Libra and you're now getting to that point was like wait a minute hold up hold up yeah I understand that we all you know fall short and whatnot but now let let's let's look at this a little bit maybe it's not me okay let me let me go ahead and 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 well let's let's clarify the second row let's see where we're at with the King of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Let's see what we got here. So we've got the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Five of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your intuition and your intuition and your resourcefulness are at odds here because you know you're Libra, you're walking karma. You know that you are abundant, which was why you were able to take hits for so long and not really stress it because you know that the universe always provides some way, right? But now you're kind of at this odds where it's like, okay, I get that. I understand that the universe will, will provide a way. And it always does. I'm keenly aware of that. But now the universe is telling you like, hey, man, I, I have more for you. And you need to learn how to be selfish with your gifts. Selfish, you say. Yeah, because what I have for you is just for you. Check out this Empress. You see how she is chilling in her tub with her candle and her petals. She is having some good old fashioned me time. It is time for Libra to have some me time. Stop worrying about the needs of others for just a moment and refill your cup 
You have been pouring into others. The minute you get half a drop, you're ready to give it away. And Spirit is saying, no, this is just for you. Just, just chill out for a minute. You're going to have plenty to give in a minute, in a little bit. But right now, what I have right now, this is for you. This is not for you to share. This is for you to share with yourself, right? So let's clarify this next row of the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Oh, well, look at here. We've got the Nine of Swords. The King of Wands, no, yeah, the Nine of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Because Libra is the scales of balance, because we are the scales of balance, um, it is very rare that we truly look out for ourselves because we tend to make sure that everyone is happy. And that's all well and good, but how often do we include ourselves in the everyone being happy? Let's just be honest. When we think of everyone, we think of everyone outside of ourselves. Right, this uh, King of Wands here, he's 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 very in tune with what makes him happy. He is very in tune with filling the fueling the fire in his belly, and it makes very little difference where that fuel comes from as long as the fire burns in his belly right and now he's here saying hey it's time for you to think about you but you're in your head about it like oh but i don't want to be selfish and i don't want to feel like yeah king wants like nah man you need that you need to know how this feels. You need to know this good feeling that you pass to other people, this good feeling that you insist on giving to others. You need to know what that feels like to you from you. And the Two of Swords is the, it's, it's the, the, the card of hesitation. Like, I don't know if now is the right time. You don't know if now is the right time for you to tap into this because you've got this Nine of Swords still here saying that, you know, well, what about everyone else? And if you start focusing on yourself, then everyone else, everyone else is going to find another supply. Okay, Libra? Anybody who gives you crap about taking care of yourself is not concerned about your well-being to begin with. That's not the cards. That's that's my mom talking, right? It is time for you to look out for you. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. So See if we have any final messages for the sign of Libra for the month of December 2020. Judgment, the Empress, and the Hangman. Well, if you don't make a decision, Spirit has already made it. Okay, there's, there's something that is dormant, that is dormant in you. There's something that is dormant in you that is about to be resurrected.
that is about to be resurrected. Look at this abundance. The Empress is abundance. And the same way that you have given and given and given to your own detriment, it is now time for you to stop and receive. Receive. It's time for you to take a different look at your circumstances. It's time for you to release this need to make sure that things outside of you are kosher while you are dying on the inside. It is time for you to be on the receiving end of the love that you have to give. And the abundance because this love that you have to give this love that that spirit is wanting to give back to you is not just in your emotions but it's tangible right so who yeah spirits ready to love on you ready to love on you a lot Okay, Libra, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If this reading resonates, please be sure to click the like button. Um, also subscribe and share the channel. Um, also hit the notification bell because I will be uploading periodically. Libra, thanks again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, Libra.